investment officer of Anderson Capital Management, ranked among the top performing managers of U.S. growth equity for the second quarter of this uh, year, returning, I'm looking now, 46 percent. So that's notable, Peter. It sounds to me when I'm reading through your thesis on a lot of this that you must be watching CNBC's coverage and reading through the financial press a lot and just yelling back at the talking heads. <laughs> Well, thanks for the candor. You know, um, I have always marched to a different drum, the beat of a different drum, and uh, this past year has been no different. You know, I am on record for saying there was not going to be a recession, and I still am in that camp. Also, rising interest rates, I have been pounding the table for that. I know all the theoretical textbooks tell you about the simple dividend discount model as rates rise, stock prices decline, but it's an oversimplification. So it's a more complex problem to look at. And uh, this time I was lucky and happened to call it the right the, the right direction for the past several years, actually. I mean, you say luck. Other people in your shoes would be very quick to claim credit. If you're a voice crying in the wilderness, then how do you see positioning your investments for the second half of this year, Peter? Well, to continue crying in that wilderness, I'm saying singing the same song, actually. Uh, I haven't made many changes to the portfolio. You know, some of the disappointments, it's just incredible, I would say, this past month, uh, you know, with NVIDIA, I was heartbroken that after it reported such strong, insanely good results, I went to bed that night thinking the next day was going to be one of the happiest days of my career in terms of investing because I have a large position in NVIDIA. And as we all know, it just kind of flopped. And uh, the market is filled with illogical reactions like that. Even Palo Alto, remember that two yes. weeks ago? These things have been driving people crazy. And uh, I think it's just uh, emblematic of how frightened we are about the interest rate hikes and where poor Powell is and how he's trying to navigate that and saying a lot of words but not saying too much. So this is all something that you have to take in stride. And going through uh, the rest of this year, I don't presently think I'm going to make any changes in the portfolio. Did you, did you just add super micro comp? I had recently added that, yes, over the past two quarters. And, uh, you know, that has been a, it's also very related to NVIDIA. A lot of investors are not um, realizing that. And it has been off the radar screen. But as NVIDIA goes, so does uh, Super Microcomputer. So that's been a bit of a disappointment, too, for this past month. But I have a uh, conviction that, you know, AI, oh, here's the other thing. So what people said was when NVIDIA didn't pop the next day, they were quick to make the conclusion that AI is over. You know, the, the, it just was a flash in the pan, and I couldn't disagree more. I mean, AI is just beginning, and it's our urge to have these uh, immediate ramifications of news reflected in stock. And I think you just have to take a breather sometime and say, look, we don't get it right all the time, but over the long term, I think uh, we, we should be optimistic.